And we'll be beginning in five, four, three, two, one, and welcome to the night show! I'm your host, your grand MC, your night of entertainment, the one, the only, TK Diz, Isaac, Kustip, Aeon, Orion. You know what you can call me, and I welcome you back to our nightly adventure of Final Fantasy 16, where it looks like we're gonna have a goddamn boss fight right now. One bigger than the one we just got into. The end of last episode. Fallen! I got no problem with killing undead, mate. I do it all the time. Are these things here for me? Or for him? Bravery. Some opponents will use the ability bravery to invigorate nearby allies, enhancing their performance in battle. Look for that. I'm assuming that's supposed to be a brave icon. Defeat the targets quickly or risk taking extra damage. I don't give a shit about you doing shit. You know what I do? I just keep hitting you till you go down. To quote, despite the fact this isn't the wrong series for it, my plan is to always hit it till it dies. How many allies to get left? Come on, you want to try to buff yourself? I'll show you what happens when you waste time buffing. Yes. Which? Man, I don't care about these four demons. You only got the one. Of them apples. How does that feel? Come on. Come on. Kill you while hitting you to death. No more ledge. This looks like it's leading somewhere. You've been busy, Kuka. But where did you go?
a crystal. Or we're probably going to destroy our third crystal. Which I think means only there's two left. I don't know why I keep thinking there's five. I don't know if there is five. He's in the sanctuary. I can feel it. Come on, Toggle. Now I really can't just jump down there. Like, why is that I cannot just jump it down to a location that seems like I could? Then I quote, quote Mr. Wilson, you know, the superhero landing's not really a fun thing. Right, it's terrible on the knees. But it's such an iconic thing. Like, can you imagine a superhero not doing the superhero landing? going the wrong way. Or have I been going the right way, just the wrong step? Oh god, I went back, didn't I? Yep, I clearly started going the wrong way. Well, at least I know it is. At least Torgal can help me from getting lost. I'm guessing I had to go this way. Is he still leading us? Am I wrong? Nope, still going the wrong way. Where the hell was I supposed to turn? Oh, you're kidding me. There was a freaking side door that I walked past. Inner Sanctum, Drake's Fang. Get out of my way! I need no Ashbringer to take you down. There's no Blade of Light here. Enforcements. You're too late. Yeah, I did not give a shit about your bravery shit. I'm steadfast. Stout heart. Stout hearted. Where'd all your bravery go? Here's my boom stick. That had better be the last of them. How'd you like my boom stick? Do I get to piss off Titan? Please, somebody gets pissed off Titan. I want to kick his ass. I need payback for the. 
the fucking. My everything. I, I've missed you so much. Coca! He's literally seen shit, ain't he? Holy shit, he's actually seeing her. Like... We will never be parted again. I'm 90% he's... But he's not seeing it, so he's seeing shit, so she's definitely not there. Why he's seeing her, I have no idea. My guess is it's Is she naked? Why does she need to be naked in this scene? Come on. Ultima, what? Why you gotta be showing him this? What the? Is that supposed to be Clive? Well, oh, oh, definitely we're pissing off. See, this is why I even question why not call them primals. The term makes more sense to me if you ask me. Ooh, oh, no. looks like we're going for it. You know what this means. I hope it's going to be for it. Either Ultima's doing shit to us or we're not doing it for it. Yeah, for it. I want to be a for it right now. I want to smack a bitch. That's a giant fiery demon. Jen. You heard me. Find him. We've done this before. You can do it again. Yes. If red. I want to say that should be Ultima, because Joshua is not wandering around on that. I'm actually gonna show you why we don't need to be a warrior of light. Just kick your ass. Well, this is, I was gonna say his titan form doesn't have arms, but I guess you can regrow them when he gets this form. And he's giant compared to us. You know what they say. What, don't you guys know what they say? Did we just get lightning around us for a sec? Ooh, looks like it hurts. I heard. Not if it's I heard time skip. That good. And even then, look the sheer difference in the powers. We're just literally punching them. I really gotta see if we have any iconic abilities on our thing. 
when we're Ifrit, because I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look like we've done much. What, you think you can just go off the screen? I won't come for you? No, shit, sure, I can see. Yeah, we're, we're bouncing around. We get lightning when we dodge. I mean, to be fair, we did absorb our moot's power. Brimstone. Oh, maybe we learn them as we go along. Like we're getting more and more stronger as a dominant. Still think Prime would have been a better word. Stone's throw. Ah. Brimstone. Clive has learned the ability Brimstone from Titan. Hold and release R2 and square to emit a violent explosion. Then hold R2 and square longer to increase the explosion side and strength. Press X at any time to cancel the charge without triggering the explosion. Brimstone 2. If it is invulnerable to damage while charging Brimstone. Suffering an attack, however, will automatically trigger the explosion. Let's so give this a try. Okay, yeah, so we do. Come on, Titan. Time to be done with you. Staggered once more, huh? Did I get knocked out of my explosion? I don't want to feed you with a wildfire, come on. Dodge! Ooh. Man. He may have been a behemoth, but he went down! Down goes Titan! The Titan falls! To the wayside! Aw, oh, wanna try to take a bite out of us? You really think it's gonna be that easy to beat me, Titan? Calm. Same Pokemon, man. You think rock beats fire? What the hell is he doing? Earth and Fury. Did, did he just destroy his own crystals just to kill us? Not the best move, mate. Getting around two? Titan's a lot bigger now. With lightning. But I'll be honest, I don't think he's that scary still. So.
Now, if you told me I'd be fighting a giant amount of monsters with rocks thrown at me today, I would not call that something I saw coming. But this is still fucking cool as hell. Literally just crawling on these big stone branches he's throwing at us. He's dodging the avalanche of attacks, he's like hitting. I was like, I don't even think we we're meant to hit him once this entire sequence. And like, even just the way watching Ifrit dodge, we're trying to get closer and closer to him. And it's every attempt he does to get rid of us fails. Because we're coming. Do you understand? You've lost. We're gonna try to swing his own branch on it. For a punch. But oh no shit, that was not what I meant to do. You know, even though we got smacked right there, doesn't make me wonder if, even if I had made that hit, would it, would we have failed? Hit hey, you back for that last one, Titan. I realize this isn't Titan now, it's Titan Lost. Smack him with his own power. No way, I shouldn't be able to use Titan's. I don't think you can use Titan's abilities while I'm here. God, I very much love to see what the, a staggered Titan looks like right now. Like, how would he go down when he staggered? I feel like I'm relying too much on my fireballs for this one. Oh, uh, I will say a stagger titan doesn't look that impressed. There you go. We're maybe just hitting the arm. Well, let's start hitting the arm. I was just here. Does magic feel like that's a lot less useful in this game? I'm not gonna make that mistake twice.
So I'm making you rely on my fireball titan. I'm trying to know, this fight only takes so long. Feels like we're not doing so much damage, but how many times we smack Titan is just because we're relying more on the fireballs for some reason, even though I'm pressing the attack button. So it feels like we haven't done as much. So I wonder if that's also just to make sure while you're attacking, you still are attacking. No. Hmm, some of this music I think reminds me of Final Fantasy music. And before I just realized the, the pointless of the statement of Final Fantasy 16 music reminding me of Final Fantasy music, I generally mean that when I say that, I mean like Final Fantasy 14. Yeah, something I probably will br keep bringing up with this game just because how many times have we brought up the sheer fact that the main... Have I mentioned the sheer fact that, you know, the sh that many of the people who worked on Final Fantasy 14 have worked on Final Fantasy 16. What did I say? You only get one of the, those. But I will admit, also admit, I don't know if the person who did the music for 14 did the same thing, so... I can't exactly call it. I think we're like, what, 14 bar... A fourth of the way left of this health? Maybe a little more. I wonder how much my dodge can go up. I want to say, Titan doesn't stay staggered long, though. I'll give you this, Titan is definitely very stubborn like a rock. He doesn't go down, wait, what? Where am I aiming here? Because I don't have the aim here. Either I'm shooting at Titan or I'm just shooting things in my way. Yeah, 
they're not really mine, but then they are. Because, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta shoot fireballs at people. Rabbit fire! Really? He's still not dead. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just keep smacking you. God, you gotta wonder how him being looking staggered would look right now. Doesn't matter if you got some distance on me, I'll just shoot you like this for now. He's a tanky motherfucker, but he's not exactly having a good fight. Come on. Stagger your ass again. Something about where I'm in. You gotta hit on us while I'm trying to hit you. Don't even feel like I'm worried when I got a strike like that. Smack right in the face. He's tanking it though, but. What? Are we gonna become even stronger, Ifrit? He became a stronger Titan, but what about us becoming a Titan? Word for that. 
I'd say we have Heidelin's blessing, but we ain't warriors of light. You know what they say about bringing in the big guns. Oh, it feels like we, all you did was just break our hand. Dodge. Now oh, punch him, punch him. Blocking them, huh? Sometimes I'm always surprised when we get clash, attack, or hit. Is that it? Titan slain. Bye bye, Titan. I'll give you go one thing. He just put in the fight. Ugly ass motherfucker. Remains undiminished. With every sip you take, you grow in strength. And soon you shall achieve perfection. I don't know what you're talking about. You will accept us, Mythos. It is Still not understand what the Mythos part is. You were created for this purpose, and you shall serve it. Never! Aww, we, we just think stabbing is gonna be enough to kill. about Ultima as a villain. He doesn't... Uh... Oh. He's hard to just... I don't know. Which is because we haven't seen enough of him yet. 
one can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks after all. <laughs> Titans. Titan was strong. Was full of ro rocks. Your Majesty. But Mythos is stronger. For five years, that man lived only for revenge. Clinging fast to a fiction, even as it swept him into the abyss. One cannot change one's nature through force of will alone. Bullshit! Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. A fool like all the rest. of a mother crystal should be so beautiful why does he want the mother crystals destroyed from stone to sand exact revenge <laughs> do we really need a revenge holy order of the knight's dragoon some medicine my lord I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, urchin. Or you'll feel the back of my hand. Damn, she's just trying to help. <laughs> you Please tell me you ain't a real dragoon. My prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. Mm. For now, the Dalmex suspect nothing. And as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. This was not something I'd see coming. Nothing wrong with it, just didn't see it coming. their own treaty and launch a new assault our soldiers would advance to meet them cutting across the central aisles but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the southern defenses and storming twinside and so the capital would become a battlefield thousands of innocents would die i cannot allow that to happen There is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> yeah, how do they already know Titan's dead? Would that I could have.
avoid doing battle at all. A thousand pardons, your highness. What is it? How the hell did that happen? What is the meaning of this? My father's orders. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, your highness. His radiance requests that your highness maintain position here and... Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. Already your steed. Time for a rebellion. What is it now? Joshua? Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. We stand in the presence. You gotta admit, that is, that is a pretty control, old um, control of the blade. Like literally, not even the like, able to stop. Just not even pulled it out yet. He was ordered. I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the remembrance ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Do I address a ghost? Many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. Well, let us know. I'm so confused how Joshua was apparently supposed to have survived. Damn it, game. Well, I guess we're going to go to the hideaway. Out of the shadows. I wasn't expecting a side quest. I'd better give Otto the good news. Well, maybe when I call that a side quest, I wasn't expecting. I literally just had to. Sir. Apparently she's not, that worry wart has not heard what happened, but apparently the Empire then again maybe they might not have actually know it just came across like the idea. Oh yeah, they killed him. You're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupker is no more. Woohoo! Titan is dead. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place. Smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's it's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. All right. On that, okay, unfortunately, it looks like I'm being called away for a temporary amount of time, so we'll be right back, guys. So, until then, 
give me a bet and we will be right back.
Welcome you to the night. Welcome back to the night show. I do uh, apologize for that little small, what, 15 minute delay, but sometimes other people just need to call you for their own reasons, and honest to God, I'm sometimes just too much of a nice guy not to agree to the idea. Hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. <laughs> well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Wuludas. The very same. <laughs> but whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men. Slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the fang. Mm -hmm. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in storm before. The Waludas must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger What's picture the big picture is here? Than my map? The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It oh, is a place like Ash Storm are just the weird ones. West of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence. Oh, Dominant always. I know I keep bringing it up, but damn, Dominant just comes across 65. as a weird word. The Battle of Bellinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Man, I still want to know more about this goddamn Blight. The faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army like, of... They implied the crystals are about it, but like, so much comments about the Blight. Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Wulud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Waluda standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? In summary, I know not to what end the royalists betrayed Kukka. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the royalists' movements. <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. The wounds he left that night are still raw. Especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them... That those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I mean, the humans are animals. We are. Very well. I'll go and spread the word. Woo, we get to go tell people shit.
Does it mean we're eventually not gonna have to live in the hideaway like this anymore? So the bite really just destroys all the land and all that shit. We're kind of fucked if we become melted. Well, someone looks pleased with himself. It's true what I'm hearing, then. Nothing escapes you, Lady Karen. It's true. Kuka is dead. Hmm. No more looking over our shoulders, then. Good. I'm starting to get a crick in my neck. Hmm. Don't let it go to your head, though. Mm, what do you got to say about this situation, Gertz? I was hoping you'd be back soon. Blackthorn. Do you have a moment? What is it? I'm busy. I wanted to tell you that Hugo Kukur is dead. Damn, it really sounds like his voice is about to break. Sid definitely feels more of a Final Fantasy name than freaking. Than, and you know, just because, you know, it's time. What do you need? New weapon, check. See, this is what I was expecting. Not this enhancer bullshit. Really? Well, I'm gonna upgrade the grindstone. The grindstone, because I'm curious. But we'll use the enhancer. Lost you a good while. Especially, I've noticed having the upgraded weapon is usually the better option. Ah, oh, I actually just realized there was another thing I need to do. Yes, we are definitely upgrading to this. Okay, it's better, but we don't have Electrum still. And let's increase this as well. I don't care if it takes the rest of our thing, but we... Just so we can have a little better gear. All right, now to speak with Hara. Crates, you think one of our things would be to talk to Mid? Because, you know, Sid, her dad was the one who was, you know, being wanting to be killed by Koopa. Have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Koopa is dead. He... Oh, my... Really be true? <laughs> Look, he's crying. <laughs> he is a big baby. Dude. And with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Hmm. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, Ultima came to me. I need to know what he is. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, um. he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A brother of death. Whether the Ultima you met with was the being itself, 
or merely another projection of its power, I know not. But until I do... I'm just hearing about Ultima. I'm wondering, does this mean Ultima's gonna be take, taking the um, center stage? This kind of reminds me of what people have noted is an issue with the... Um, to go back to the previous Spider-Man films outside of the Tom Holland one, how too many villains and they're how it's always bad how there's too many villains. Something that was affected all it affected I'm telling you it's true. Maguire this is already terrible films. Yeah, you heard me, man. I am not a fan of the Raimi films and Maguire's Spider-Man. I think he plays it too much like it's Peter Parker as Spider-Man than the Peter Parker that, you know, is Spider-Man. I know that sounds weird, but no. to me, he just feels like a Peter Parker who's always been pushed down. And like, you don't get the feel of Peter Parker getting back up from Spider-Man. But, well, Garfield, she was right though. Well, I'll be honest, on, didn't Garfield's second movie only have two villains? Ah, but you ain't told everyone. Electro and Goblin. It's just the problem is Goblin. Sleep more peacefully for knowing. Yeah. Just mean is sometimes if you don't give a villain enough focus, it feels like they can be just kind of weird. You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you do, be sure to take mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. I'll suggest it. Well, we're gonna get fucked to mid. Wait, open the menu. Remember, I said this is the really weirdest one, one to go around. Also, I just realized it looks like we're wheeling a goddamn katana. Which, I'll be honest, I do not mind. Especially because the one of the issue I, I do feel with uh, Sid's, con honestly, Sid's swords is, well, his weapons to begin with, is a lot of them feel like they're the exact same. I was trying to jump there. If I don't come in. All right, Clive. What do you want? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Some old... It's on fire, no? <laughs> Displacement stack. Here. And uh, this is for... Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. So she's the one who's gonna give us... Of course the chick related to Sid would give us a, an airship. Where all the vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive... Because we're the real Sid. Nah, I'm not kidding. I, the OG Sid is still the best Sid. I just think it's funny because one of the iconic things with Sid is he always implies us with an airship. Which is where the stack comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped ship rides into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. The thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I was hoping you'd say that. First things first, I need some parts making. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here. That channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. 
ram the shield in around the sides. That stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. A full suit of armor, then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily, you don't need to. Grimid? Blackthorn. Hmm. We haven't played any metal. Use the blacksmith. When it's this one of the air, especially not the part that we've gone through enough times, I am definitely going to keep my, my hand on the map. This hideaway is a lot more confusing than the last one. And I've said that every freaking time. And I will not stop saying that. Alright, well, was I making a point about the issue with the Blade? Yeah, the katana at least feels a little different than his blade being the same over and over. Blackthorn. I don't really need to stand out my choice, especially I'm always just upgrading my blades. It's the mid. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. And spare myself the arse ache. Go on then. Wow, arse ache is not a line I've ever thought I'd hear. Not because it's rare, but... Yeah. It's just not a phrase you've ever heard. Need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will ya? All right. So Lid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still, hmm. if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. And, uh... What is it we need to do, exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual saw grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. Which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Well, make your minds up who's going where, we can get this over with. Looks like we're still. You going after the Stardust then, are you? Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Hmm. Oh, it's not like it's the most important decision you've ever had to make. I want to know what happens if I choose one of them. Like, Gav's had my back. Tied to the desert. Five. You don't have my winning personality. Ah, don't listen to him. You'll be in the lowest of low company with either of us. I'll take Gav, you know what? Actually, no, Otto. We don't usually get to go out with Otto. After the start, just then wow, there's got to be a better way I could have worded that. Two lucky souls is going with you. Otto. It's probably a better way we can go to imply that yes with Otto, where... We don't usually go for Otto. Let's hang out with us. Reaches the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on his banks that you're after. And I'm guessing you'll be needing sad loads of the stuff. Might be worth our importers and the Dalimilin. I'll let Dan 
See about finding us a wagon. All right. I'll meet you by the river. You two take care, eh? I'll go and see the supplier. Just don't let that bastard fleece you, eh? Ah, he wouldn't do that. He's Blackthorn's mate. Isn't he? Best of luck. That's not an answer. No. Make way. Oh, looks like there's a side quest here. Man, no, others, but right now we're just gonna go there. And we'll try to pick up a side quest if we can on the way. Oh, Master Baker. What's the matter? Oh, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. Mm. I'd go and look for him myself, but I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? Let's see what I can do. Let's see what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right. Mm -hmm. Then that's where I'll start. Yeah, we'll probably out the quest, but like I said, we're probably going to find the store. The. Uh. Next, look like the other direction. Worst case before. Made from the stoutest stoneware. Did you really just ask where all the men of the rocks went? God, what were what were they doing that that's your reaction, mate? The constables test you properly. Like, are the pin, men of your own ta town like literally that bad? One well, not. Ah, oh, wait. See, this is what I don't like about the map somewhat. You can only technically like we were running this way, but it implies literally you can't actually go out this way. Like, I needed to actually go this way. And, you know, just to make this a little quicker. Looks like I found the river. Where's Otto? Just casual in the minutes that Otto was not following us. Otto, sorry I'm late. Oh, Clive. I had a quick scout about, and I reckon this area is our best bet. Seems Blackthorn's the only one who thinks smithing with his stardust stuff's a good idea. It's just lying here, waiting for any old fool to fill his boots. <laughs> but unlike any old fool, you thought to bring a wagon. Well spotted. Now get filling. Somehow I don't think this is as simple as he thinks it is. But you know, I'll wait to find out what the simplest <sighs> actions. So this is Stardust. <laughs> it just looks like black sand to me. Apparently we need to gather five of it, but I only see so far two. Okay, so it's definitely in this area. I just want to see what the item was. Which 
They're not bad, but they're just not good either. Especially because the drops are so much the same. Collected three. Does that mean it's not on top here? Because we only went this high up. Because literally everywhere else I was looking, I was seeing shit. like Nothing implies that it's gonna be in. Yeah, because there's supplies. In... There's a whole area we're supposed to be looking at now. Oh, there's some. Oh, and there's the last bit. Really? There's even more on top. This should be enough for now. Let's see how Otto's getting on. Oh, did someone attack you? Oh no, he's just kneeling on the ground. How much did you get? Enough. I hope. More than me. Uh, put it all together and I can't see Blackthorn complaining. Much. Here, Clyde. First your walk. Sid would be proud. Of what? Of you, you idiot. <laughs> the way you've carried on what he started. When we first met, I had you down as a spoiled little puppy who enjoyed nothing more than buying the hand that fed you. But five years on, you're the one doing the feeding. So thanks for proving me wrong. You weren't wrong. But I changed. Thanks to Sid. <laughs> and thanks to you. When I suggested taking on his name, you were the first to back me. And if you hadn't, no one else would have. I couldn't have done any of this without you, Otto. Honestly, some of these I really think is a lot more fitting, you know, when we see a lot of this. All I did was choose hope over despair. I gave you a chance, yes, but you're the one who took it. You took a rabble of homeless, hopeless outcasts and put them back on their feet. Gave him something worth fighting for, just like the old Sid did. Okay, 
about time I was heading back, I reckon. Always scrabbling about in the sands, taking his toll on the old pins. How old are you? You don't seem that old. Away, then. You can take a well-earned rest when you get there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. But I'll make sure Blackthorn gets his precious black sand before I put my feet up. He'll only moan otherwise. Right. Ready to go home, boy? But before we do that, we actually have the side quest. just literally that knocked us back for a second we just ran into I really don't know what makes him push run like that and there he is the apprentice excuse me what do you want the baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? I'm certainly not a baker. Master must rue the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. Because there was the crystal that was there. I take it you missed the mother crystal. I hated her, but she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin. But I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Express yourself. Perhaps you could express yourself in your work. If you miss the fang, maybe you could recapture it somehow. Recapture it? I'm a baker, not a... <laughs> you know. I love it. I'm a doctor, not a... Just be right. Place of the reference, but it's just... The fact that he didn't even know what he was going to finish that sentence with. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. You've opened my eyes. Wait. Suppose he won't be needing an escort then. Well, let's see what happens when we walk back to town. Wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, it's ready. Behold the Drake's Balm. A truly unique creation. I dare say it is. <laughs> Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsom spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the fang without her crater? Why, no fang at all. And look, inside, 
She's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the Fang. Uh, well, mm -hmm. if it tastes half as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. I mean, no one... You know, he keeps saying his 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 bread breaks like or whole the way he describes it. With any luck, I don't know. I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I mean, I'm wondering as long as the bread is still good. I mean, would it that still matter? Then again, I don't know. I'm not. I never worked in a bakery. The closest I ever got was my very first job. I did get the chance to get a promotion to working in the bakery, but because of my own allergies, I was not allowed to actually work in a bakery for health reasons. And yet, I'm allowed to. I was allowed to work in a job that allowed me to literally have no issue with working. And since there's one more side quest up here, let's go to Lost Wing. But that was, that was what I was looking for. I did work in a dairy and grocery section, so honestly, it's not always clear what allows. Day, you consider it's a health concern. Then again, I also think I was allowed to work at that job despite nothing having issues with me being out at a certain, certain time after late. Because if I remember, there was a law that like you couldn't work a certain time if you were not considered you were underage. But I don't remember that ever coming into an issue with my first job. Your timing is exquisite, as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I, I will say this. Your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Of course. Oh, I think we further and further, the more we go to these places, I feel like some of these places we go back to, if we're not going to them, it feels weird that we just go to have a side quest at Lost Wing for one point. I will. The quest. Right. Right. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. And let her find out if this is just nerves or something we need to take more seriously. No. There's some weird beats this game has, but honest to God, I don't say it's boring or unentertaining. You're right, Sid. Something on your mind? There is actually. Can I ask you something? Quentin tells me people have mentioned shadowy figures out in the woods. Have you noticed anything unusual? Oh, that. No, sorry, can't help you. I heard the rumors, mind, from the lads working over at the vineyard, but none of them have seen anything either. All right. Thanks anyway. I don't say how many residents we need to actually speak to no, as well. And I don't even, didn't even go the right way anyway, so... strange figures having been sighted near the village have you seen anything nah not me gov i heard the rumors though i'm here most days right next to the gate and i ain't seen nothing out of the ordinary don't worry any shady characters try and slip into town this way and i'll soon come running and shouting most likely all right thank you
It looks like we got one last thing to talk to. One last deliverer to talk to. I really don't like you, Casey. You cannot move faster than like this slight like jog run. Reminds me of like getting days like an MMO when you're playing a character and you can barely run. There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it. Screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as me legs would carry me. And I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Right, watch, it's just me a monster See, or something. This is our best bet, then. What do you say, Togo? Shall we go and investigate? I don't get two gill. Like two gill is what the fuck we just got. Two fucking gill. What the shit was that? Let's cut some. You there? Fuck! He's seen us. Get them before they escape. <laughs> Shields. Here. You really think I was worried about escaping? What are you doing here? What is it to you? <laughs> Not that we give a damn. What matters to us is that you don't leave here alive. Get him. They think the problem was we wanted to escape. <laughs> oh, they're about to slaughter like the bitches they are. Bye bye. Why were they here? Are they planning an attack on Lost Wing? I need to warn Quentin. And to do that, we're just gonna literally teleport into Lost Wing. Sometimes it's not worth it to just go back and forth. Good day to you. It's all but spent. <gasps> the crystals we get from the temple. Clive, how goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black shields. The Empress's former bloodhounds. Though they serve Former. their master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear more that Cacus finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Why don't they serve the person because we I expect? Want him dead. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of Sandbrack. All that I have built here is for him. Mm. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lost Wing? I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I uh -huh. swore to fight it. And fight it I did in my own 
small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence. Men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? Mm. I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. Oh my god. I think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade. Literally, means of everyone. Of his rivals, a mask He's I mean, I get it, the fact that just because they have magic, it's not the greatest thing to make them, you know, rulers. Because, you know, technically anyone who uses a crystal can still use magic as well and put them in their place, but... And we've seen magic is kind of weak and with a dominance power, but damn, hear the idea they hunt them for sport is just sickening. My loved ones, my livelihood, my position, the faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. But the man Damn. himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Damn. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty, all under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same, and our cause is the same. We are comrades, and our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion, too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My Does that mean another side cross? It begins. Make ready for war. That's the end of this quest, but does that mean for... We'll see another quest of... What's the one at the end? Hmm. I'm not going to change his mind. Maybe that's why we don't see anything more on this. Because we cannot change his mind, there's nothing more we can say. Now let's go talk to Black, Vaughn. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. Blackthorn, got everything you need? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the Stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. Nice to get out and about for once. Do it again sometime, eh? I'll make a start on putting this firm all plating together then. It'll take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do without you breathing down my neck. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. All right, letting off steam, part one. But since it's only part one, seriously, what is that one on the? I don't know what it's for. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work too. Give us a shot if you need anything. All right, let's report back to mid and see what happens. He cracked the crystal. And I still have not forgotten. We have to go a very certain way. Uh,
seeing troops amassing at every border. Still, straight path here. Why does Mids doesn't have to be so far away? Now we've got, got to go this way. If I don't come up this way soon. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plating. Excellent. One down, two to go. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? Mm -hmm. I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size pieces for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's the name? Right. All right. Well, at least someone close by we can talk to. An engineer. She has an engineering assistant. Oh, Sid, is this about it's the help? Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I don't see the marks the bearers have aren't that bad, but you see the, the fact that why did they have them? And it's poison. Is burned to generate heat. That heat is then harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal displacement stack, which disperses it into the surrounding air. Now, were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect, the rate of excess heat buildup would far exceed the displacement coefficient of the plating. I understand none of this. The reactor would overheat and eventually explode. This is where the helm comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of thermal sink to absorb all that excess energy. Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why? If sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. Mid said we might be able to use parts of a fallen ruin. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It's in Lorbert's Pass, near Lostwing. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there it's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them it's um going to be considerably more dangerous than that i see then i suppose i'd better deal with this unwanted visitor for you would that help oh very much thank you sid i'll gather my team and head there right away we'll meet you outside the ruins Quest accepted. Letting off the steam. Prioritize. Make way! No, we'll go there. And once again, we're back to Lost Wing. to a storehouse in the bales. Leave anything you don't need behind. Now, let's just see how far are we from our location. It'll be a walk, but I think I'm going to... Actually, you know what? Before we do that, let's see. Have we gotten any new information? Middle Telamon. Daughter of Sid and student of engineering at the University of Kanvar. For young age, Mid showed the same passion for invention as her father. And uh, even greater altitude. 
Not a suit. Ah, fuck it. She's as well versed in the secrets of modern and fallen technology as any scholar in the twins, and means to put that knowledge to use in service of the hideaway. I mean, she's definitely doing that. The Enterprise. Again, another one I'd like to point out is a term used in 14. And again, I'm not trying to say this is stealing from 14. They are literally the same directors. And most of the other characters. So it's not really a reason of saying no need or anything, but... The Hideaway's mithril engine-powered flagship, designed by the father and daughter team of Sidifus and Midalon Telamon. The, sit, the ship is currently under construction in a hidden cove on the outskirts of Kenvar. Lost Wing. A settlement in, located in central Sunsbreck. It had fallen almost entirely into ruin after new roads bypassed it. That is until Quinton, a co-conspirator of Sid's, took it upon himself to rebuild it. His chief aim in doing so was to amass enough manpower to take revenge on the Lord Chief Justice Sandbrek, and he found no shortage of others who had suffered at the man's hands, willingly willing to join him. Fearing this coming, coming retribution, the Lord Chief Justice set the Black Shields to seek out the village in order to destroy it. And the Fallen. An ancient yet highly advanced civilization. Can we all acknowledge that sheer thought? An ancient yet highly advanced civilization. Like, it's an ancient civilization, but it's they were highly advanced. How many series have done something? How many fantasy stories are like, there was once the ancient civilization, but now that tech and all that information is so good there. Ugh, sorry, I know I'm yawning and I sound exhausted, but it's been a long ass day and thank God tomorrow is Friday. One of the favorite days, my favorite days of the week. Because who doesn't love the day just to be able to stay, relax, and not worry about shit? And it's the weekend. An ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics said to be the remains of airships that once soared through the skies can be found across the length and breadth of Valsavia. Sid's hideaway is just but one of the many settlements to take a fallen ruin as its foundation. Take advantage of the sturdiness of the ceramics which are stronger than steel. They are not, however, immune to the passage of time, and so the hideaway is in need of constant repairs. Well, that's the only active time lore we have. But, actually, I'm curious, will this say anything? Because I'm guessing because of the side quest, which makes you wonder, would we still be getting this scene if we hadn't? Didn't he butt? Oh yeah, I wanted to look more at the icon of all these. Now I keep distracting myself. Yeah, it looks like we don't get any icon abilities that are just outside of that. Well then, how about this? So quick abilities, look. Titan channels. Ooh, that's right. If we get our Titan abilities even stronger. No, yeah, wind up definitely needs to be stronger. As strong as I can make it. Wind up. Uh, I guess that's the side. Oh, yeah, it's mastered. I wonder what this one is. Earth and Fury. I don't mind putting a point to it. Oh, I need more points. What's the one in the center? Raging Fist. Mm. Honestly, I would like to see that ability. Like, let's see if I can't add it. I'm not gonna... There's a recommended ability is the thing I just noticed. All right, where is it? All right, not that I don't mind upheaval, but I want to see how much it does compared to Earth and Fury. That one's almost five stars while upheaval. But this one's not even... I mean... I'm trying to see which one's the better ability, because that has a... Oh, no, yeah, definitely Earth and Fury, because that one I can see. As you can see, it has three stars. But that has, I guess, more of a chance to stagger. But I like the more damaging hit. You know, hit. But, yeah, we'll see how it works. But I'm going to have to say, most likely we're going to save that for next time. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed our show. Share, favorite, follow, like, spread it around. If you know others who'd be entertained by my show, 
send it my way. I'll happily entertain you all. Also, don't forget, subscribe. It can only help the channel. Till next time, this is Night Show Offline.